What's good, y'all? Quick video before I go into this gym. I see a lot of y'all are, a lot of y'all are stressing, or you can't find the right car. You know, um, the miles ain't right, the price ain't right, the location ain't right, the color ain't right, <laughs> the type of car ain't right, right? All these things. So. That's mileage, color, location, whatever. There's apps you can download, like Auto Trader and all these other ones. And you can literally put in your color of your car, the make, the miles, how far you willing to drive to get the car, whatever, whatever you want. And that kills all that bullshit. You can do this from your phone. You ain't got to leave nowhere. The last two cars I bought was from was from this app now the problem is a lot of times when you look on this app the car is not going to be there you got to keep looking you know how many times i had to open auto trader to finally find this car that i actually wanted it took forever but when it was there it was there you got to keep looking you know it's, it's way easier than trying to find people who knows this and and trying to go to car lots and all that because you can put the mileage you want you could put what type of engine you want you could put anything you could customize it how you want it. Leather seats, um, stereo, whatever. Whatever you want. And and if the car you exactly want is not in the search, well, then I guess you just got to wait, right? But at least that you know it's um, available or not available. But here's a tip, though, on this. Like, say you really don't want to drive more than 50 miles to look for a car. Put like a hundred miles just in case, because when you hit your search, there might be a car that's 55 miles away. Now you miss that search. If you only put 50, that's why you got to have leeway. Same thing you do with the, the, the money too. Like say you only want to spend 5,000, then put maybe 7,000 or even 10,000, something like that. Cause you might find something super perfect for seven thousand but you only want to spend eight but you like shit it's worth it i'll go ahead and do that you know what i mean so if you don't understand what i'm trying to say you can even bump it up say you want a car for fifty thousand right that's what you want a car for fifty thousand put like seventy thousand just in case because what if you what if there's a car in the search remember your search is custom the color all that it's custom so what if there's a car in that search that is um fifty five hundred or fifty five thousand? My bad. And you could put convertibles, whatever. If you're looking for a convertible, you could put convertible black, such and such miles, how much I want to spend, whatever. That's why these apps are perfect. The thing is. A lot of y'all give up on these apps because the car you want ain't there when you search. It's it's going to be like that because cars don't just pop up every day on car lots, especially like if you you're trying to. You're only trying to drive like. um 50 miles away or some shit. You just got to get it at the right time. You just got to keep searching or you could try that Carvana shit where you got to pay like eight hundred dollars for them to bring the car to you. I mean, you could do that, but you're you're taking a risk of spending eight hundred dollars. That's why I didn't do it. I thought about it many times because I couldn't find this car. Like fuck, I could find it, but it wasn't what I wanted. It was always too many miles or or some dumb shit. But I just kept searching. I never gave up. I just kept searching, man. Keep searching. Keep searching. You know, um, don't give up. You looking for a car? Start searching now. They coming. The cars are coming. It's about to be nice out. So the cars are coming, y'all. Y'all just got to keep searching every day. Just like just like the people who's trying to buy a PlayStation 5 online. That shit wasn't on there. Every day you log on, it wasn't there. You just got to keep looking. And then one day, that motherfucker going to be there. That's how it is, people. You can't give up. You can't give up, man. But this is the best way to get a car, in my opinion. Anything else, it's like you chasing your damn tail, man. Because, um... Especially if you're trying to get a specific type of car. That's the beauty of it. It gives you the specific type of cars that you want. You don't got to settle for 
this color or that color. No, you can get exactly what you want. But that's all I got to say, y'all. Try that shit out. Or try Carvana if you're willing to pay 800 But me personally, I would just keep searching on the apps. Download uh, a few of them. They're pretty much the same, but every now and then, this app will have something that don't. Every now and then, you could go on a car lot and it's not on the app, but that's rare, man. It's just easier to do it this way because you're going to get the miles you want. Again, say you only want a car that got like, you want a car that really only got like under 50. Put 75 just in case because that car that might be 60 might be perfect. You you got to give yourself leeway with the prices and the uh, mileage. And sometimes maybe you, you want leather seats, but you'd be like, I can deal with it not having, like I wanted TVs in the um, seats for the Platinum. But I'm glad I didn't get it because it's useless anyway for me. What am I going to do with them damn seats? Guess what? It's like 10000 less for them two damn seats. I started thinking about it like, man, $10,000 for those two little ass, not seats, my bad, TVs. Those two little ass TVs, $10,000 more? Not even worth it. Shit like that. It'd be little shit that that be costing y'all in the search, in the search bar. When you search, it'd be little shit. Now, I'm not saying like you want a black car. That's what you want. I ain't selling for less the color. I've seen plenty of these cars, different colors. I ain't selling, saying sell it for certain shit, but certain shit like mileage, you want something under 50, but you find one for 60, man, you might want to take that. Or you don't want to spend more than 5,000, but you find some in the search between five and seven. That's why you got to give yourself leeway. Basically, you overbid what you really want to spend. You know what I mean? And you do the same thing with the mileage too. And you do the same thing with the uh, mileage you're willing to go look for the car. You don't put, if you're, if you're only trying to go to like Indianapolis, that's as far as you go, then maybe you should put like 250, you know, ratio. That'll give you that extra 50. You, you might find 30 more cars just in that 50 mile radius. That's the whole point. But if you start limiting your shit, like I'm only going to spend 5,000 and now you only get, you're only going to, the search is only going to hit shit that's 5,000. It ain't going to hit something that's $5,001. You missed out on a good ass car for $1 because your search, you got to expand your search, man. You got to be uh, the versatile, whatever y'all want to call it. That's all I got to say, man. Y'all get it or y'all don't, man. The shit is easier this way. A lot of times there is not the car out there for you right now. And that's why you feel like you're chasing your damn tail. But trust me, man, when the car you want pop up, it'll be there. And also, it saves your search. So you don't got to type it in every time like I want a black Cadillac convertible this many miles, blah, blah, blah. You don't got to do that. It's already there every time. Every time you log on the app, your search is already there. And you could do multiple searches, you know what I mean, of different shit. So if I logged on the app right now, my searches from before will still be there, which is a good thing. What if I see another car like or some shit, but I'm not even worried about no damn car right now. But that's how y'all do this shit, man. It works. It's worked for me the past three times and I've gotten solid cars, no lemons, no none of that. Get your car with low miles if possible, though. Only way a car is good and solid with a lot of miles is if it's been treated like, you know, like me. I drive like an old man. All that young, hot rod and shit, I don't do none of that shit. I like to cruise. However, if I was going to do that shit, I'd just go to kill care or some shit. But to me, I don't need all that because, I, I mean, what's the point of having all that under the hood and I can't even use it? What, get a speeding ticket? I like to cruise. That's just me. You know what I'm saying I like luxury, but it's basically like creating your own fucking car. That's exactly what it is. So you don't got to worry about the the little shit not working, like certain shit that you wanted, but you're like, damn, I got to settle for this or that. No, you ain't got to settle for shit. You can literally put in the search that you want, and if it ain't there, it ain't there. You got to keep trying. Keep trying to keep trying. Look how long it took me. Y'all heard me talking about this car for what? A long time. The reason why I really didn't get it, because the price wasn't right. I wasn't going to pay more than what I wanted. 
Not only that, it just it just wasn't right. There was some that was in the price range, but the mileage was too high. So I'm like, no, nah, I'll just wait. Look how long I waited. I waited years. I'm not saying you gotta wait years. I'm just saying like the shit will pop up for you. It'll work out for you, man. Or you can just do it the old-fashioned way and go from lot to lot. But most of the shit you see on these lots is in that app. Why the fuck would you drive when you could just get you some wine or a blunt or something and search for fucking cars? You know, even if you only want to spend 1200 on a car or 500 you still can do this shit. It's still going to pop up your search, man. Whatever you search, is going. the results are going to be there. You could search worldwide, but... If you like want a car in Florida or something, that's going to be some Carvana shit and you're going to have to pay like 800. You know what I mean? I don't think they charge you if you keep the car, but if you send the car back, that's 800 gone. So I don't know, man. That's on you. Y'all have a good day.